Hey guys, it's G Gamer here. This is gonna be a remake of a old old tutorial that I did, and <clears throat> mainly I'm redoing this because it got it has a pretty good amount of views, and everyone was saying that I I talked for internet. I agree with them. I was sort of rushing that tutorial because it was it was mainly just to show one of my friends how to do it. So anyway, this tutorial is gonna be how to record in game with Xfire. The first thing you have to do is you have to get Xfire. I already have it installed. Actually, I don't have it installed. So, let's go on Xfire and install it. What you have to do is you have to go to xfire.com and go to download Xfire. Start downloading it. So let it download. And then you gotta make an account. Now, <coughs> you have to make an account. You can just go to new user, join Xfire here, blah blah blah. And I don't know why it's downloading again. Uh, create an account. Okay, you want to go to create account and just fill out all the stuff. And yes, you need an account with Xfire. I'm sorry, it's just something you have to do. <clears throat> um, it's Xfire is basically like uh, a like a different version of Steam, but not really. I can't really explain it. But as soon as you have it installed, run Xfire. You don't have to start it up with Windows because this is only going to be like you know, an alternative to using Fraps or something. Um, even though I have Fraps, I don't prefer this anymore, but I used to actually prefer it. So, once you get it, you have to, you'll be prompted to sign in. And once you sign in from the account that you made, you're going to want, want to go to Tools, Options, then go to Video, and make sure that Enable Video Capture is checked off. Um, as for frames per second, you can leave it at 30, or you can put it up to 60 if you don't like lag, or even 100. I don't know why 100. Anyway, um, this is going to be uh, where you can determine if you want high quality video or not. If you have half size, let's say the video is 800 by, um, if the game's 800 by 600, um, it would record it in 400 by 200 resolution, meaning that's why it's half size. So if you're going to record in 1280 by 720, if you put half size, it's not going to record in 1280 by 720, and then you can't render it in true HD, and it wouldn't be, you know, screen fit inside of YouTube. So you want to go to full size if you're worried about quality, but if you're not, just leave it to half size. And yes, full size does make it a much, much bigger file. Now, the, as for the video capture folder, you can set this, set this wherever you want. I'm just going to set this to... Actually, I'm just going to leave it to default. Program that next to video. Now, sound, you want to record sound. And audio device, you can use, if you're on Vista or 7, you can set it to Vista Audio. Um, but if you're not, if you're on XP, I don't know, um, I don't know how that would really work. It, if you have what you hear, that would probably be your best bet on XP. But I don't really know. As for audio mixer, one option, for me at least, just if you can leave to that. So, enable flashback capture, let's leave that disabled for now. And uh, flashback memory use is default because we don't even have it enabled in the first place. Now, up here in the top right, you're going to notice key binding. This is basically the key that the key combination that you're going to uh, use to start and stop recording the video. So, all you have to do is we have to, I'm going to just click it, and then we can, okay. To click it, and then you're going to be brought to this page. And then click video, and then I'm gonna use Control V because because I don't like uh, scroll lock. As for webcam, you can use whatever you want. I uh, yes, I have a webcam. And then just hit OK, and then the next part is actually gonna be going into a game and actually recording it. And I'm actually gonna just gonna do this two ways. <clears throat> I'm gonna actually record me with Fraps recording with Xfire. So I will see you back here in one second. Okay guys, now when you're in game, what you want to do is just want to simply press the key binding that you set the video to. So if you set it to like, um, Alt Z or whatever, just press that. I have mine set to Control V, so I'm going to hold down Control and hit V. Then you'll notice at the top up here, you, you can see how it says your time that you have, something Fraps doesn't actually do, which I wish it did, and the size of the video that's coming out to. Then it's going to say recording, then it's going to say your key binding to stop recording. So, if I wanted to record some gameplay, I would just simply join a server and let it join. So, fast forward this a little bit.
Okay, now once you're in, um, it's just going to keep recording and it's going to uh, blow your file size up. But it does, it does work and it's going to capture audio. And I'm actually yeah. recording this Fraps while recording Xfire, so I'm going to cut the video off of Fraps right here and show you the raw recording with Xfire. And show you any quality difference, any sound quality difference that you might encounter. back right below. Take your stuff back then. And just as the last few things, um, as soon as you exit your game that you're done recording in, you're gonna see this thing called the window called XR Video, and you can just pretty much just upload this to the XR page. Um, if you want to, I, I guess you could, but you know, just check upload if you want to upload it, and then you can just hit OK. And back to where I said about saving it, it will save it wherever you um. Wherever you set that folder to. So I set mine to, I believe, program data? Yes, program data. Um, Xfire, wasn't it? Xfire, then videos. And so here is, of course, the video. Um, and here's a screenshot of it, too. It does take a screenshot. I forgot to mention that. Anyway, since I recorded in full size, it recorded it in 1280 by 720, which is my resolution. Um, so. It did work, and there's sound in it, as you probably saw in the um, live demo. In the live demo, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do to start recording with Xfire. It's pretty simple. Um, it does give pretty good quality, I have to say. And if you're looking for an alternative to Fraps, then here it is.